Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to iDevice Focus. In today's super exciting video, we're gonna be talking about iOS 26 settings you need to turn off now immediately and urgently because these settings are draining your battery and also making your privacy vulnerable. So with that being said, iOS 26 comes with some amazing, cool features that requires a lot of battery power, such as the liquid glass, fancy animations and effects, but not necessarily add any value in a way that it makes or enhances your user experience with your iPhone. So the first setting is gonna be in the camera. If you open up your settings and go to the camera right here and scroll all the way down, there is one specific setting that I don't like being turned on and it is prioritize faster shooting. Why do I not like this? Because when you're shooting burst shots, it sacrifices the quality in order to get more shots, which I don't really like. I, I still want to get the best out of my cameras because I paid a lot of money to get the best camera on the iPhone. Therefore, I want to get the highest quality of photo rather than the quantity. So I turn this off on purpose and it, I think it makes your image quality a lot, a lot, a lot better, especially when you're taking multiple pictures at a short amount of time. Next setting is going to be within the sound and haptics right here. If you guys come down to the sound and haptics and scroll all the way down to keyboard feedback and click on it you'll see two different settings sound and the haptic whenever you're typing some people love the sounds that the iphone makes and also haptic a vibration that it makes but for me i'm not a big fan of it less noise that my phone makes less haptic gestures and the vibration it makes it is better for me again it's a personal preference but by turning this off you're not only turning off the sound that it's making or the haptic vibration making but you are saving a battery life so by turning this off you're not really losing too much but if haptic vibration something is very, really important for you you can leave it on but at least the sound you can turn it off and not really bother the people around you when you're typing and if you just swipe left and come back to this menu again another big thing is the lock sound I'm not a big fan of the lock sound. I know Apple has this signature lock sound when you lock your device, but again, just sound that it makes, I don't really like it. And by turning this off, you're gonna save a lot of a battery life. Keep in mind, this lock sound will only make that sound if you are not in the silent mode. So, and if you scroll up, there is this one specific option or the menu, the setting that you need to turn off, which is the change with buttons. This is the menu. This is the setting that, you know, messes up a lot of people's alarm clocks, messes up a lot of people's ring, ringer volume because when this is on by default when you click on your volume up and down button you're not only changing the media volume for example if you're watching this youtube video you can lower the volume or make it higher by clicking on this but sometimes it might actually mess up your ringer or your alarm volume so by turning this off you're only giving access to your media volume control with the volume up and down buttons because that makes more sense and if you want to change the ringtone or your alarms sound you can just come to the setting and then change it within here another new feature that was released in the ios 26 is something called game center whether you're into games whether you play games or not this game center is always uh, running and interacting within your os meaning whether you signed up for it or not by updating to the ios 26 your device is auto automatically signed up so just if you go ahead and click on this uh, search button over here on the bottom and look up game center and click on the first one and just simply sign out of it you're not only making less background tasks but you're also saving a lot of battery life so just exit out of it game center is basically like the facebook of gamers that apple tried to create a social server that gamers can interact with each other you can still play games but you know you don't have to be you don't have to have access to this game center and i think it makes sense why you want to be wasting your battery in the background speaking of background there is a background app refresh setting that i want you guys to turn it off you go ahead click on your general and then scroll all the way down to background app refresh this setting is confusing to a lot of people but I'm gonna make it simple for you guys. What background app refresh is, is basically if this is turned on, when you click on any app and open it up, before you open it up, everything will be loaded on if the background app refresh is on. But if it is off, it will not be wasting your performance, wasting your battery behind the scenes in the background. It will only load up the things when you open the app, but you will still get notifications and stuff like this even if the background app refresh is off. Keep in mind that when you turn on the low power mode, Apple by default, by automatically turns off the background app refresh because background app refresh is big battery waster. So personally, I either would set it to Wi-Fi only or completely turn it off. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just leave it to Wi-Fi and personally customize the apps, go through these apps, and see which apps don't require a background app refresh for example a chess it doesn't really require background app refresh what do i need to load up before i open the app nothing so just simply turn it off just go through these 
apps and makes you know make the decision for yourself which apps deserve to be running in the background and updated before you even open it up there's really few apps that might make sense most apps they don't even require it so for me personally i just turn it completely off so the ios 26 has the fancy liquid glass settings that we may want to turn off in order to save you know battery life and also improve your performance so if you go ahead and go go to the accessibility in your settings and then click on display and text if you scroll down you'll see a setting right here which is by default will be turned off but this is the setting that you may want to change and this is one exception where you need to turn this on but by turning on you're turning off a certain feature right here as you guys can see when this is off you can see that when i'm scrolling down you can see that transparent top right here which shows the text just a fancy cool effect this animation which eats up a lot of battery so by turning this on to reduce transparency it will be just a solid white color which will not be transparent and is saving a lot of battery so leave this on right here and you will be basically turning off this fancy effect or the animation but next thing is if you go ahead and go back to your accessibility and click on motion in the motion we have something called auto play video previews so this is the feature that i don't really like and it doesn't have to show me the preview of videos because some videos that i receive might not be that important or not even appropriate so by turning this off you're saving yourself a headache and also saving yourself a battery life you don't need to preview the, the video before you click on it so by turning this off you're just saving a lot of a lot of battery life and uh, improving your privacy i would say so for those of you with the newer iphones that has the 120 hertz refresh rate if you want to save more even extra more battery life you may consider uh limiting the frame rate so by turning off the 120 hertz refresh rate you can set your iphone's display to 60 frames cap it out i know some people are gonna go in the comments and say hey i paid a lot of money to get that 120 hertz display again this is for certain small amount of people who prefer battery life over the the looks over the refresh rate so if you turn this on the limit frame rate it will basically turn off the promotion 120 hertz and your display refresh rate will be capped at 60 frames per second again it's a really really personal preference but again if you want to squeeze out the maximum battery this might be a feature that you may want to turn on but now speaking of batteries if we go back to our settings and click on battery there are a few settings that are new and we may want to turn off for example if you go ahead and go down to charging there is this new feature on the newer iphones that gives you the option to set a charging limit and this is by far my favorite features that has ever been released on an iphone because by setting a charging limit you're protecting your iphone's longevity because when the battery spends a lot of time in a high uh, percentage of batteries or extremely low percentage of batteries it will age your battery way faster in the past there was a optimized battery charging option that iphone released which is not successful which is not a reliable method if you have an older phone you might have this option simply turn it off because what it does is that it will learn your charging habits not charge your iphone to 100 percent unless you really need it for example if you always wake up at 6 a.m right before you wake up it will charge it to 100 percent you it will wait until the last minute to charge it 100 percent really not a useful feature just turn it off and also this clean energy charging absolutely not necessary in my opinion because again collecting data and sending to apple by charging your you know small iphone you're not really making that much <laughs> effect on clean clean energy and being eco-friendly or whatever i think this is a future feature that they want to collect data for so just turn it off and it will save you a lot of battery and definitely set a charge limit if you have this option whether 90 percent or 85 percent if you want to be even more conservative you can set it to 80 percent but for me sweet spot is i think 90 percent and if you go back to the power mode right here if you just swipe left you will go ahead and open up your power mode there is something called adaptive power mode it says when your battery usage is higher than usual this is a specific new feature that's released in ios 26 for i believe iphone air because it might get extremely hot and by turning this on uh, it will be really adapting to based on how hot your iphone gets and if it gets extremely hot it will turn off some you know tasks and it will really reduce your performance of your iphone so unless you have iphone air i don't think this feature should be on just completely turn it off and save yourself a headache and keep your iphone at the max capacity because it's not really going to save a ton of energy by turning this on so that's the another feature that you may want to turn off another useless feature that you may want to turn off is if you go ahead and click on your name up top and then click on personal information and then go to communication preferences on the bottom these three options completely unnecessary i don't want to get any announcements or 
extra stuff being sent to me and wasting my background tasks and performance in the background so i don't really need this just completely turn this off and by turning this off you'll save yourself a lot of uh, performance and battery life in the background now if you go back to the settings again and go to notification there are some settings that you may want to turn off in order to improve your privacy again one of them being screen sharing when the allow notifications is on when when you're recording your screen it will still allow the notification to show up and be recorded in the video and i think it's a little bit uh, against the privacy so just turn this off you'll still get those notifications but it's going to be on your notification bar but it's not going to be recorded in the video just turn this off and give yourself more privacy Another thing that you may want to turn off, it's a new feature that only iPhone 14 Pro and later devices have, which is in the display and brightness over here called always on display. Most of you guys heard of it. Most of you love it, including myself, but I don't really need all of these things to be on. For example, I love looking at my locked iPhone and see the time, but right, but I don't have to see this dim down wallpaper. It doesn't really add any benefit to me. And as well as notifications, to be honest, I don't really want to see any notifications, not to mention the blurred wallpaper for i don't really need it and it gives you extra boost in your battery life by not showing that wallpaper all the time apple does a really great job of this you know reducing the refresh rate to one hertz when the always on display is on but again if you're if you don't want to see the wallpaper and also don't want to see any notification pop up when your device is on always on display you can just turn off these settings and leave this one on because if you turn this off it's going to completely turn off always on display so this is the result you're going to get just completely black screen with the time uh, widgets and they all the useful stuff that you can you know know by just glancing at your iphone but nonetheless guys these are some of the settings that you may want to turn on in the ios 26 let me know what you guys think in the comments down below by changing these settings immediately you're not only saving your battery life but also improving your performance and your privacy if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe down below because i'll be releasing a new video called the settings that you need to turn on by turning on you're going to improve your performance improve your battery life and all the good stuff so definitely subscribe down below and if you enjoyed this video you know what to do leave me a big thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out